Yeah. Oh man. Belt broke the truck. Mm. My name is Brian and welcome to Wrench Fest Garage. Today we're back on the dent side Cummins and we're going to be putting the brake pedal and the clutch pedal out of the 99 Super Duty into this. So let's get going. The reason we're pulling the pedals out of this truck and putting the other truck is when the 79 was born, I guess, it came with an automatic transmission. And this is the truck that the manual transmission came out of. So the clutch master, slave cylinder, everything should work great with that ZF6. All we gotta do is figure out how to get it in the cab of the 79. And same with the brakes. I wanna use the Hydra Boost and the master cylinder. That will go with the 79 frame, or I'm sorry, the 99 frame. We just gotta figure out how to get it into the 79 cab. Well, there's the brake pedal. Clutch pedal's underneath. Okay, there's the clutch pedal. I don't know how this is gonna come out. All right, it looks like the pedal's almost like 90, the brake pedal is almost like 90% of the way out. But the clutch pedal, that's a different story. I just grabbed a handful of tools from the garage and hoping that I got the right ones to get this undone. If not, we'll be making a few trips back and forth. But uh, yeah, let's see what, what fits and see what we need to get this off. All right, should have brought different tools. We're gonna make this work though. Okay, yeah, there's a couple of bolts here. Yeah, that should come out as a unit. Well, my neck's already kinked. That's how this is going. <sighs> Gotta run and grab some more tools. I need a little pry bar and a little pick to get the clip off and to get the pedals off. So we'll go grab some more tools be right back. Stay tuned for more fun and excitement. Tools. Got them. All right. Are they going to be the right tools? That is the question. Question of the day. This is like been leaking for a minute. Filthy such and such and so and so okay there's the brake pedal yay how's the fight to get it out I really don't know why like I undid these two bolts these were done but I think these were catching up in the insulation and the floorboards and everything else it would just struggle to get it out but it's out that is the brake pedal okay now we're gonna pull the clutch out and hope it's not as much of a fight that's the safety switch for the clutch pedal. Basically, this tells, tells the truck that the clutch is pushed in so you can start it. Without this, the truck won't turn over to start unless you bypass it. Okay, that is the clutch slave cylinder. Nope, that's the clutch master cylinder. Slave cylinder stuck under the truck. We gotta figure out how to get that out from underneath the truck. Okay, I just had a clip through the line that's holding it. Okay, that's the master and the slave. And yeah, we gotta figure out how to get this fitting in the 79. And me out of this. Ooh, yeah, we got it. We're at. Ooh. I think all I got left now is just the two bolts to get that clutch pedal off. But we'll see. We'll crawl back under there and See if we can finish getting that clutch pedal off. Bad words, bad words. What you gonna do? I don't know what that was, but it sounded important. <sighs> yeah. So we got the clutch pedal out. Yeah, the master cylinder comes in here, hooks this rod here, and then when you push on your clutch, it pushes that rod anyway. That's the pedal assembly, it's out. Now we just gotta figure out how to get it in the 79. This clutch safety switch, it's kind of a pain. It's maybe not the best design. I can make it work, 
I'm just not sure that I want it on there. That's a good idea to have, that way somebody can't just jump in and hit the key and the truck will start moving if it's in gear. So it's, it's a good safety feature to have, but do I need it? I don't know, guess we'll see. Since the last episode, we've got some new hood hinges straight from LMC. They're pretty nice. They'll do the job just fine. We also got the, the body mounts tacked up. The reason I just tacked up the body mounts is just in case I gotta move them. There still may be some fine tune adjustments before it's all said and done, but they're basically in place. They're basically done. I just gotta add some gussets to them and then finish welding them and then we'll be good to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and pull the brake pedal out of the 79. So that's the original brake pedal. And as you can see, there is no clutch pedal. So we're gonna put the brake pedal out of the 99 into the 79. Also the master cylinder and the hydro boost, kind of an advantage to using that stuff is that master cylinder and that hydro boost, you can find that basically at any part store. Same with the clutch parts. They're just readily available because it's just 99 Super Duty parts. The reason we got new hood hinges was the old ones were so worn out that they were kind of going sideways when you shut the hood and they were rubbing up against the hood. It just wasn't shutting right, nothing was working right. So that's why we got new hood hinges. This is the Hydro Boost and the Master Cylinder out of the 99 Super Duty. And this is also the clutch out of the 99 Super Duty. So how this goes together is that slides onto these four studs. They can do it like so. So basically this is where your firewall will be. So we need to drill four holes into the firewall and then sandwich this in there. And then we'll have to find a, a way to attach this so it has these four points and these two points up here. So obviously this is gonna have to be totally modified to fit the 79, cause this is a 99. Also another great thing about this, all these lines will fit the 99 frame and brakes that are already existing. The only thing that's gonna be different is we're using the power steering pump from the Cummins. So we'll have to get a hose that goes from the Cummins power steering to this Hydro Boost. Anyway, we'll figure it out. First thing we need to do in here is pull the old pedal out. So we'll get after that. Another reason that we're switching over brakes is because this truck came factory with vacuum assist and the 99 came factory with Hydro Boost, and Hydro Boost is just a lot better setup, gives you a lot better brakes, and yeah, it'll just be better all around. So that's why we're pulling this out. Um, unfortunately, this pedal is completely hooked to the column, and it's just kind of all one piece, so we gotta kind of work our way through that. I might use parts of this pedal, and then um, try to make the Hydro Boost work with this pedal. I don't know, we'll see, we'll keep at it. What I'm trying to figure out here is kind of which brackets to use for what, whether I want to use the original 79 bracket or use the 99 stuff. Um, the 79 stuff, it goes from the firewall and it goes down and it catches the steering column. So it's necessary, we got to still have that bracket in there. Whereas the 99, it basically attached to the firewall and then attached kind of the top of the cab, or kind of the cowl, but um, they're just so different. We're just trying to figure out what bracket's gonna work where, and right now nothing's really lining up or making any sense, so we'll just keep at it and see if we can figure something out. That doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. As you can see, the holes don't line up. 79 bracket, 99 parts. So I'm gonna drill a couple of holes on both these brackets. There's a bracket still on the truck and this bracket. And then we're gonna see how everything fits. Um, worst case scenario, I can weld these back up, these holes back up, maybe make new brackets. But for now, I'm just gonna kinda see how this fits. got 
new holes drilled in the old bracket and we're gonna throw it on the truck and see if this is anywhere close to fitting. Okay, what do you think of that? Well, the hood will shut. Let's just see how it lines up with the pedal. That's gonna be the whole, the whole problem or the whole thing. Yeah, we're close, but not really. Looks great on the outside, but where that rod comes through, it's it's hitting the hole. It's not lining up with anything. It's kind of a mess under there, so we got to figure that out before we carry on. All right, we got a pretty big gap there, so we're going to tighten those nuts down and see if it changes the angle of the rod inside the cab. It should change a little bit. I don't know if it's going to fix it though. I was just thinking we could drill a hole in this pedal and raise it up just a skosh. But the problem I'm running to now is this is hitting the pedal. So it won't allow me to go quite in as far as I need to go. I mean, it doesn't look horribly bad. What can I do about that? I don't hate what's going on here, but a couple things got to change to make it work. And that's basically how it's got to sit. <laughs> Kind of got the brake figured out. So now we're going to put the clutch pedal in, just make sure it's going to sit in a good spot for compared to the brake pedal. That has to sit basically. It's got to sit way closer in than that, huh? All right, so what I got to do is basically get it in this area, hitting the floor about that tall. So that's gonna put us barely above the fender. I'm gonna pull this spring off this clutch pedal just to make life a little easier, kind of get a better idea where it's actually gonna sit. That wasn't too dramatic. This sucks here, cause this is absolutely gonna be in the way. So I gotta do some trimming or something with that. We're gonna drill a hole in the firewall. I'm sure it's gonna be in the wrong place, but I guess I gotta start somewhere. It's close to where I want it. We'll drill a hole, we'll see how it mounts up, see what it looks like. Worst case scenario, I can plug the hole with welds. So the bolt is right here. See that hole yeah, right there? Let me put my finger there. Just kind of put your finger there to hold it in and then kind of hold the pedal up. Kind of like that, just kind of where it's gonna go. And then it's just, I'll tighten it up. Fingers in there and hold it up. You ready? Yeah. Does it look like it kind of needs where it needs to go? I have no idea. Okay. Something happened. Did something good happen? Oh, would you look at that? Is that good? There is a difference between automatic and manual transmission pedals. So this one's wider, so it's an automatic transmission pedal. So we might put the other pedal in here so it's a little bit narrower so you're not always hitting the, when you go to hit the clutch, you don't accidentally hit the brakes. Uh, yeah! Oh man, about broke the truck. Mm. Well, the question is, is it too close? Could it come over? I got the clutch pedal mounted, but I'm not sure I like where it's at. I feel like it needs to go up and this way a little bit. I'm gonna temporarily put the part brake pedal in just to see how much room I have to go this way. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. I don't know where this thing goes. Oh, it wants to consume the same spot that the clutch pedal does. Going that way, so. Okay, I see. There's a clearance issue between the park brake and this clutch pedal bracket. So we're gonna trim these off right here. See if we can get it sitting just a little bit tighter, closer to it. I really don't dare trim off a whole lot much more. 
because it'll mess with the structure. So we'll just trim these off and see what it looks like. We got the park brake pedal on and the clutch pedal bracket and the park brake want to consume the same area. So we trimmed it off a little bit and it's still really tight. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mount the clutch bracket in the best spot that we can mount it up as high as we can, over as high as we can. And then we're probably going to wind up heating the clutch um, pedal so we can adjust it and give it a little bit better shape or make it move over a little bit more, I guess what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we're drilling a different hole. Uh, we're gonna see how this fits against the part break. Go from there. We got all the pedals hung. Um, we got the clutch as close as we could to the driver's side, but it still, as you can see, is way too close to the brake pedal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this uh, clutch pedal and we're gonna bend it. We're gonna make it go where we want to. I'll probably have to shorten it up because after I bend it, it's gonna lengthen it. I'll cut it and re-weld this pedal back on. But that's pretty much where the bracket has to sit because of this part brake. So it is what it is. The brake's good to go. Well, it's not good to go. I need to, I need to finish fixing the linkage, hooking it up. But it's working out pretty good. So yeah, just a couple minor tweaks and stuff and we should have pedals. The next thing we're gonna do is we gotta make a hole right in here for the slave cylinder. So we can hook up the slave cylinder, get it hooked up with the transmission and make sure that's gonna work proper. Okay, that basically looks like a beaver chewed it out with his teeth. But. <laughs> That should just fit in there like nobody's business. But I got it upside down. That's probably the problem. If I can get this thing to go, it's going to fit really good and look nice. So it actually goes in like that. There we go. I hit this up. So this is going to have to be mounted somewhere. Not there. Oh, look how good that fits, kind of. Hole's kind of too big, but that'll do. Well, that's basically it. I'm just down here trying to hook up the slave cylinder to make sure that's going to fit and work out and the line's not going to be too weird or anything like that. Did my light just crap out? Okay, all my lights are dead, officially dead. The rod fell off in here somewhere. Did it fall off in the, oh, phew, it's right there. Ah. You're hooking the slave cylinder up to the transmission? Yep, because that's where the clutch is. Clutch sits inside there. So this is what pushes the clutch fork. I don't know if you remember that, but uh, the fork's inside there and uh, this rod pushes against the fork. Hmm, that ain't good. Why, why like, why should, why is the easiest thing like, that should just push in there? Nope, it's gonna fight us. Here's the freaking nail. We got this all set up, getting ready to put this slave cylinder in. It won't collapse. And now it's just leaking like a sieve. So I've got problems with the slave cylinder. Probably just gonna have to replace the whole thing. It comes as a unit with the master and the slave, I think. I don't think you can buy them separately. I could be wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna dig into it just a little bit for half a second and see if I can figure out what's going on. All right, I think it's uh, no bueno because once these come apart, you can't bleed them because they don't have um, they don't have the means to bleed them. Okay, guess I need a new one of those anyway. Add that to the list of parts. Add that to the list of parts. Add that to the list of parts I cannot afford. The slave cylinder was a complete disaster. It fell apart. You can't bleed them after they've fallen apart and gotten air in them, whatever. So I'm just gonna buy a new one and we're gonna move on from that. For now, I'm gonna try to finish up the brake pedal and make it work. And then I gotta do a little bit more work to that clutch pedal. Um, a little bit more support and then it should be good to go. And then all we got to do is put the new master and slave in there and we'll be running. 
This is the pedal off of the 99 and what I'm trying to do here is grind weld off and knock this stud out so I can reuse this stud on the 79 pedal. figured out that's what it's gonna look like um, I'm gonna weld this hole in just for strength and heat purposes and I'm gonna trim this pin off a little bit try to keep it straight in there and then weld the backside like they had it from the factory <laughs> I went up to my shed and found this scrap metal and what I'm going to use this for is backing behind the clutch pedal. There's just not enough metal, it's kind of flimsy so we're going to take and cut some of this out and uh, see if we can make the clutch pedal just a little bit sturdier. <laughs> Got this piece of metal cut out. It's going to go behind the clutch bracket to help support things up. So we're going to throw it in there, trace out a few holes. It's actually going to cover up some holes on the firewall too. So it'll be a win-win. But this, this is not going to be it. This is just going to be a starting point. We'll build off of this and uh, make it super strong. Got our holes all traced out. Now we're going to drill the holes, see if it fits. <laughs> That's about all we're gonna get done today. We're waiting on parts. Until next time, thanks for watching.